Cheerio! Today's spot of style is minding the gap on the British invasion. Come and get the royal treatment. I'm about to spotlight today's hottest trends, so come and get your spot on with me. Hi, and welcome to Spot On Design. I'm Nikki Larson, and we are covering trends that cover fashion, home decor, and crafting. I've been noticing lately that we've had a lot of spotlight on the British flag. I don't know if it was the royal wedding first, um, or what it is, but I'm noticing a lot of this Union Jack flag popping up everywhere. So we're gonna look at four ideas that can help you get the royal treatment in your own house. The first primary spot that I saw, I was on Miss Mustard Seed's blog, and she has painted not one, but two dressers with the Union Jack flag on the front. Super, super darling, and I can only imagine a ton of work. Um, but you can check her out and see how her dressers turned out with the Union Jack on it. Next up, our secondary spotlight is Jonathan Adler. I love looking at Jonathan Adler's um, Happy Chic Homes. He um, pulls in all of these very whimsical, very fun details into his interiors. And he's got one where he's used the Union Jack flag in this ginormous rug. Um, and he's changed the colors on it, so it's blue and green instead of being the traditional red and blue. And then he's also thrown in a traditional pillow on the floor um, in that traditional color scheme. So you can check Jonathan Adler out on his blog, and you can also check his website for all of his products. This last spot in Design Trends is probably my favorite one that I have seen. This one was done for a showcase house in San Francisco, and it was done by Allison Bloom. And she chose to blow up the Union Jack flag onto this huge wall. And what she's done is she's changed the, the color scheme to work with the house that this went in. So she's chosen black and cream and tan, and it looks awesome on this wall. Only I don't know if I would be awesome at painting it. You can read more about her on her, um, her website or follow her on her blog. Now, that whole wall got me thinking, how can I use this in my own house? So I went on a search to see if I could find a pattern that I could incorporate into something that I could use in my own house. And so I ran across this great digital scrapbook kit. Um, you can purchase it. I believe it's at scraporchard.com. Um, and it's put together by WM Squared. And she's got all of these really cute papers, really fun embellishments that have the Union Jack flag and kind of other things that go along with that London or British um, theme. So you might wanna check that out if you're doing um, any scrapbooking or finding some fun products to go with that. So that's what I downloaded to do my project because I needed a pattern because I thought, ooh, I wanna do some fun pillows for my family room. Um, my pillows are looking kind of tired, and so I needed something to put some energy back into my room. So what I chose to do is I did this pillow, and I um, blew up the pattern. I found the little embellishment of the flag and blew up the pattern so it would fit the size of the pillow that I have. And then um, because I chose to use white fabric, um, the pattern actually showed through fairly well enough that I could see it. So I just lightly traced the pattern with a pencil onto my fabric, um, and then I removed the paper out from, out from the back. Um, and after that, um, then I just used blue painter's tape, and I taped off the spots that I wanted to paint for the flag design. Now, my colors obviously are not the traditional colors. I chose to go with a lighter blue, a yellow, and a gray, um, which is kind of my more calming colors. But anyway, um, after that, the products that I chose to use to paint my pillow with are, um, a, you need a fabric medium, 
which um, helps the paint so it's not stiff when you paint it onto your fabric. And then of course your paint colors. Now my favorite choice of course is Martha Stewart. I um, mean you can purchase all of her products I think at Michael's and I think Joann's is carrying them now too. But um, so I like her paints the best just because I like her color palettes and I just feel like they adhere to um, any surface a lot better than any of the other acrylic paints that I've tried. So um, you mix one part fabric medium to two parts paint. Um, and after you mix that up, what I like to do is I take my foam brush and I just barely found these awesome foam brushes there by Tulip. And I love them because they have this really detailed tip on the edge so you can get into little tiny spots with it. So I took that foam brush and I painted my pattern. And after I painted it all on there, I took my foam roller and I just rolled over the top of it to kind of soak up any extra paint so it wasn't bleeding out from my stencil. Um, and then after that, you need to let it dry for 24 hours. And after it's done drying, then you heat set it, which means I like to put a pillowcase over the top of it, just an old pillowcase that I'm not using anymore. And then I run an iron over the top and that way um, the paint won't bleed or come off when you're washing it. After that, then you can sew up your pillow and you've got a way cute accent that's kind of got the British theme going on in it. For more inspiring ideas and products, you can follow me on Pinterest. My pin board's called The British Invasion. And I randomly blog on my blog, which is cocodot.blogspot.com. Um, thanks for getting in the spotlight with me today. And is London calling you? Bye.